We tend to think that we're just taking a picture of what's really there. And uh, what we're seeing here is that there's a huge amount of construction going on, that we're constructing our interpretations of these sounds. We're constructing the colors that we see. They're useful constructions. There is, I think, an objective reality. There is something that exists independent of us. The question is, did evolution by natural selection shape us to see that reality or not? And I would argue that it shaped us explicitly not to see any of that objective reality. And, and for a good reason. Um, I think that what we see is more like a desktop interface. So suppose that you're writing an email, and um, the icon for that email that you're writing is blue and rectangular and in the middle of this desktop screen. Does that mean that the email itself in your computer is blue and rectangular and in the middle of your computer? Well. Of course not. Anybody who thought that completely misunderstands the point of the desktop interface. It's not there to show you in this metaphor the reality, the circuits, the software, the diodes, all that mess. If you had to toggle voltages to craft an email, your friends would never hear from you. It would just be too hard, right? And so what, what evolution has done for us, it's given us a user interface. It lets you control reality without knowing anything about reality. If we had to actually know the circuits and software, none of us could actually use the computer. But what we have is a nice clean desktop with simple icons that lets us control the truth, even though we're complete, most of us have no idea how circuits work inside the computer, what's, what's inside there. And that's what evolution has done for us. It lets us, con so there is an objective reality, to answer mm. your question, there is an objective reality, and evolution has explicitly hid it from us completely.